Hey, what's up guys? Tech Steve with another video for you. Now, a couple of weeks ago, Apple had a big conference where they showed all the new Apple devices coming out. And part of that was the iOS 11. So today I'm gonna show you some of the new features on the iPad and the iPhone for the iOS 11 software. So sit back and relax and let me tell you all about it. First thing I'm going to show you is two unique features that are only found in the iPad and not on the iPhone. So let's go ahead and get into it. So one thing they changed is how some of the interface actually looks, what they generally do on most applications. Sometimes it's shiny, sometimes it's flat, but they're doing this to get the most out of processing power. So on this guy and on the iPhone, when you unlock the screen, now you have these new round icons. These are part of the new operating system. So now let me show you two features that are exclusively only for the iPad and not on the iPhone. Once you unlock the device, you have a roll of icons here. These are the most recently used applications. So let me give you an idea of how that works. If I open up clocks and close that, clocks pop up here, so it assumes that that's something I want to use again. Same if I opened up, uh, let's say the calendar and close that again. See, now the calendar plucks up right there. So that's one feature only that the iPad has. The second feature is the recent used apps. So normally on the iPhone, you double click the home button, but now you can see there's little squares. And to close them, you would think you can slide them up like before, but it doesn't work that way. You press and hold one of the icons and the little X appears. You hit those little Xs and that closes the applications. Now that I've covered that, the features I'm about to show you now are found in the iPhone and on the iPad. So the first thing I wanna show you is the files. Now before, Apple used to use iDrive, which is something they still use, but they never let you see what's in your phone. So if you hit files here, you can see now you can see the different locations. So you can see files that are in your phone, what's in the iCloud drive. You also can tag them with different colors down here and you can have recent ones and deleted ones right there. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is a new interface of the music store. So if you press on that, you can have your iTunes, what you're looking for, you can try out the Beats music and you can see the layouts change quite a bit. You can also browse for files. And down here you can see, you can see the playlist, your movies, titles, you have your radio, and you have your search feature. The next thing I'm gonna show you is the new app store. So before, your apps just show everything that you installed and some, some basic stuff, but now you can see what's happening today. So you can see there's a new interface that shows you little samples of the applications. You also still have your games icon there, your apps that uh, you can look through, your updates like before, and you still have the search feature. Now, if you look here, I have two updates that are needed. If you update all, you can see it slides over and then it starts making the little line before. If you use the podcast feature, they also change the interface to look more like the music player that I just showed you. And you can see there, you have your library, you have your browse feature and search feature right there in the podcast. Another thing to change is if you drag your finger up, this is the design of the new control panel. And if you look at the iPad, since you have more real estate, you can see there's some right there on the side here. But you can customize what you see in here. So let me show you how to do that. Under your settings, you go to control center. And you can see there's some features right there, but there's a little pluses beside everything I see here. So for example, if I drag my finger up, I don't see the timer. If I hit the plus here, now the timer appears right there on the bottom. Let's say I want to take something away. I can hit the negative, negative, and now the flashlight is going some other. So you can completely customize this. Another fe a feature is screen recording. So for example, if I drag my finger up and hit this little button here, I can now record my screen. So let me show you how that works.
and you can see this labeled uh, recording screen right there. Just tap that when you're done, hit stop. Open up, hit play, now you can see the recording I just made on the screen. Another new feature they have is a new screenshot with editing tools. So if you press these buttons like you did before to take a screenshot, you have a little icon and you can take multiple screenshots. And see, when you press on it, you can scroll from screen to screen. And another thing they did is they put these little tools down here so you can edit the size just by moving up and down but then you have these pins where you can mark on the screen. And then you can change the different colors and st stuff like that. If you hit the plus there, you have a magnifier, you can add a signature, or you can add text. The next thing I'm gonna show you guys is just some samples of the messenger. So normally over here, you had this little icon where you can press on it and then you can customize your text messaging. But now you hit this button, it makes everything big, and you can see the list right there of anything you want. Now, if you don't see all these icons, you simply hit the more feature here, then you can hit edit, and then you can take out what you don't use, and you can add what you need. And the last feature I'm gonna show you guys is the new Siri. What's the weather like today? Now you see this little icon, it's just a new, uh, like a three-dimensional uh, button that shows you what the Siri looks like. And I assume eventually that's gonna be replaced with this home button. So this Siri button will probably move to the, the bottom of the screen when everything is all screen and no button. So. so there you have it. There are some of the new features on the new iOS 11. Again, this is a beta version, so you cannot download it right now, but it will be out, what I'm understanding is around September. So like all my videos before, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.